What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Dev Hall. We back and we live for episode 19. Mm. That shit good as hell. I'm drinking some pineapple peach Liddy again lemonade, man. You know, we have notoriety, <clears throat> exclusive cuisine in the damn building, man. You know, we're going to have the woman, Kyron, um, the guy, Charles, speak about their catering services. You know, they have catering services with regular food. They have cannabis catering service with infused food. You know, they have infused drinks. They have infused wings. They have infused cheesecake egg rolls, which is good as hell. They have some some mango habanero shrimp. I might be exaggerating with the damn mango, you know, but that's some good shrimp. They have some water sangria with the watermelon. They got a lot of shit going on, man, you know, and they black owned, man. You know, I just want y'all to get um, an idea of who they are. You know, they're going to be speaking on their business, uh, what motivated them to start this business. You know, a guy being a chef while the girl being an event planner. Like, when I first met them, I'm like, I was about to compliment the girl instead of the guy because I'm automatically assuming she was throwing it down. But my man, James Brown, he was throwing it down. You feel me? You know, Charles was throwing it down. So, you know, we're going to get an idea who he is. And um, they have a lot of different events that I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all would love to be a part of. You know, they had a um, smoke, paint, and twist where people were actually smoking L's, enjoying themselves, and also painting as well. And also, they will be having a Father's Day event for the fathers, because it seems as though fathers always going unnoticed. We always, oh, we gotta go, we gotta show love for the mom, you know? We wouldn't be in this world, you know, this world, you know, if it wasn't for the moms, but, you know, if it wasn't for the pop, you wouldn't be in you know? So yeah, they showing love as well, man. Notoriety, exclusive cuisine, the Dev Hall Show. Welcome back to the Dev Hall Show, you know? We have our special guest. You know, notoriety exclusive cuisine is in the damn building, man. Y'all already know we in the building at headquarters media. Y'all already know they just we just recently had an event. I want to say this past Saturday. You know, um, they was catering the event. They had some good ass shrimp. Yeah. They had some yes. good ass tacos. They had that peach um, pineapple lemonade. They had what else? They had they had them that cheesecake infused. Uh, egg roll. Oh my God, yo. <laughs> God, I'm hungry right now. I want to introduce y'all though, man. Charles, what's up, man? How you what's doing? Up, man? How you doing? Good. good Hi. Man. Good. Now, I want to introduce y'all. Now, um, I just want to let everyone know who you guys are and um, tell them what y'all got to offer. So, we're in already exclusive cuisine. We are a catering company. Um, we do regular catering and we also do cannabis and catering. Okay which is a little different. That's what kind of goes into the exclusive part of the name. Um, basically, we wanted to give people different aspects of what we can cook regular. We can do the same thing infused. So if you want a little spice to your party, right. cannabis infused catering is the way to go. Okay, now I noticed y'all had um, this event, I want to say on 420. Um, and it was the first time I even heard about you guys. My man, um, Dre, invited me. He was like, yo, Dad, man, we got to slide down to this event, man. I'm like, all right, bet. <laughs> it was raining harder than a mug out there. Yeah, I was like, all right, drink. Like, I was like, we got to get to this event. <laughs> you know, so we get down to the event, and I noticed it was a lot of people in the room painting. And then a lot of people were smoking. And a lot of peace was in the room. Right. Yes, right. Like, yes. Good vibes, good vibes. What made y'all decide, like, decide to come up with that idea? Um, honestly, to be honest, uh, we just kind of just took and just ran with it. I said, let's just do paint with a twist, but let's do it a little different, you know, okay. let people be able to smoke. They could be chill, laid right. back, you know, want their minds wandering, you know, they can come up with any kind of painting, you know, right. you smoking and you painting. It could be a situation where you come out with a Picasso or right. it could be a situation right. where it's the p finger paint situation because right. right. you're just sitting there stuck the whole time. No, no, that's fake. But you know. <laughs> that's fake. That's fake. So that's what we decided to do and we said you know we're going to incorporate our catering in there we're going to have some infused items some mm -hmm. regular items we want to let you know the type of drinks we have what right. kind of food we can offer you know just to put ourselves out there now when people see a female and a male and they hear caterings you know they just automatically well i know i automatically just think <laughs> the female is the cook you know <laughs> well, you know, we got a guy in the building. He's yes, a chef in there. He's chefing it up, man. Yes, we do. I just want to know, man, like, what made you become a chef? And, like, what, what inspired you to cook? Um, I'm going to say my kids. Okay. You know, all three of them. Mm -hmm. and I, Lee, and, and Gus. Okay. And plus, you know, my family. Right. All of them in general. Like, uh, 
my all my niggas I hang with. They mm-hmm. all you know they all taste my food every day. Right, right. turning towards my house. Okay. And it was like, yo, bro, uh, why you don't start you know selling platters? Mm-hmm. I'm like, uh, you know, I was kind of scared a little bit. You know, I, I kind of was kind of scared of people uh, critics on you know my food. Right. Like, you know, scared that they they might not like it or something like that. But you know, I took the, the risk. Okay. You know, especially you know. My event planner here. <laughs> yeah. Right, right, right. I like that. You know. I, I, I push them to go as far as we need to go to get ourselves out there, regardless, regardless. Because no one's not going to know who we are if we don't push ourselves. You know, doubt kills more dreams than, you know, fame ever will. So, you know, that's my biggest thing. So that's why our name is so powerful. It's so strong. A lot of people would be like, what? What is that? Right. But, you know, um, you know, when it comes to the Nerardi, you know, you known for, you know, that fame, that bad quality, that bad deed. We here to let y'all know our cooking, that's our fame, that's mm-hmm. our baby, this is what we do. You know, and you see how she just got you know, <laughs> shit. You know, and we just wanna take this all the way to the top. You know, we got big things in store, real big things in store. Now, um now different events. Now you just recently spoke on the uh, paint the smoke paint twist, you know, um y'all recently just had another one. Mm-hmm. And yeah, then you're about to have smoke one part two. Right now, <laughs> what about uh, this Father's Day event that y'all recently um, that y'all actually about to have? Oh yeah, <laughs> I came up with that last night. Uh, you know, like two Dang. in the morning. And we speaking about the day. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, like two in the morning. You know, uh, you know that's really my waking bait. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's when the best thoughts be coming, yeah, yeah. man. <laughs> you know, I said because uh, she was trying to come up with another right, event, and I'm like, you know, it's June. I'm like. Uh, that's Father's Day, like you know what I'm saying. Like that's like, I, I, nobody never acknowledged the father, you know, yes, on Father's that's, Day, that's like that. so, you know, I'm like, I'm a dad, and I'm proud to be a dad. So I'm like, uh, why not give, you know, I like to hear that as a black you know, man, our, man, our fathers, you know, something on that day. You know what I'm saying? Like same so treatments yeah. as the mothers, yep. Right. So. I, and then do you have an idea what you would have on a menu or, uh, like, or are we speaking too soon because you just thought about yeah, last night like, I got we got this right. morning we, we, got we put a lot together of ideas, we put yeah. together some things you know it's, it's definitely going to be like a sit down situation um it's going to be um signature drinks we're going to do um complimentary beer we're going to do uh you know dinner and a dessert so um we basically trying to give people the same treatment that you would get as a mother's day event you okay. know the brunches and the dinners and right. we're going to give the same thing to the fathers too because you know they're worthy too okay you don't gotta come with you know you can come like if you're a dad and someone else is a dad you can yeah. come together but yeah, you don't have to it's not a few it's not a few it's not a few it's not a y'all heard that this one not a few y'all still show support but like this one not a few yeah it's not a cannabis event it's definitely um you know basically we just want to give people that the idea to just be able to come together as fathers who all right okay then do you have a special dish you know, because I asked you this, you know, off camera, you said, yeah, yeah. you know, you said, I, I can do it all, man. <laughs> but, like, like for the people that don't know, but do you have a special dish? Um, or a favorite or a go-to that be, oh, man, Charlie, that shit, that shit hit, man. <laughs> like, like, you got any one of those? Um, it's going to be salmon, like, <laughs> it's, always salmon. Like, oh, it's, it's always salmon. It's always salmon. Okay. Like, right. And then I make this banging-ass uh, seafood cake. Right, like, it's seafood cake. Seafood yeah. cake. Yeah. I mean, not a, not a, not a crab cake. Like, it's, it's seafood cake. Yeah, it's, like, it's real good. Can you talk, explain that. What is that? And like, talk to me real quick. Well, it's, it got every seafood. I got the salmon, the shrimp, the crab. Um, I can't tell you everything. Ah! It's, so, like, it's really <laughs> good as shit. Really the sauce, it's really good. the nice sauce with it is it's good as shit. Like real, real good. Like, now, I'm gonna tell y'all something though, man. I was just talking to them um, at the event recently, and I was like, yo, man. I'm really serious. The next time I'm gonna have an event, or when I have an event, I'm having them cater. You know, and that's real. That's what's up. Reason I'm serious. I'm not just saying it on camera. I'm dead up. That's a, it's a reason I'm bringing that back up. Reason I say that because um, people will be interested um, in your catering business. It's not just the food. Their presentation is on a bean as well. And um, for those that are uh, actually in, interested or inquiring about that, like, what are your prices, or do you have a price or a website for people to like, you know, hit y'all up? So right now I'm in the process of creating a website for us, but okay. for the time being, you know, you guys can hit us up on Instagram. Right. You can email us at nuardiexclusivecuisine at gmail.com. Um, our prices, um, they're a little different. So okay. basically we're trying to cater to everybody. We're trying to make it affordable for everybody. Right. So um, what we do is we provide catering and event planning services. So we want to charge you for what we do. We charge you for our cooking. So, you know, we charge a cooking fee. Um, we have different events where we could just come. We do a buffet setup. You know, we leave and we come back and pick it up. Um, that's like starting off at like a 250 right. Um 
We also have the DIY where we basically prep everything up for you. We give you the instructions on how to complete the meal, down to even putting down the degrees on the oven, making sure you saute it right, butter this, butter that. You know, that's our DIY kit. We also have live cooking where he could physically come and cook on the spot during your event. We also... <laughs> Hibachi out here, man. Go ahead, keep going. You no, know, we can come to your house, okay. we can come to your venue, we do large events, you know, small events, anything you name it, you name it. We could do it. Yo, man, like shit. Like, I really wish y'all came to this event, you know, this past event at Haircutters Media because, like, I think they had, like, it was so much food, man. Like, everything was good. But we're gonna get right into the stuff that's decorated on the table. Let's talk about it. What's this? So our brownies, you know, normally when we have events, um, we always like to sell like edibles, drinks, stuff like that, give you guys stuff to snack on, you know, give you a variety of things that we um, have to offer. So this is our brownies, um, highly potent. So, <laughs> so you know, this is this this is definitely a bang at, um, at our paint with a twist parties for sure. $10. These are $10 each. $10 is $10. Yeah, all of our edibles is $10. All of our drinks are $10, um, especially when we have our events. Normally at our events, we try to make sure that our edibles, our drinks, our food is no more than $10. We don't want you to spend Respect. no more than $10. Respect. So, you know, we try to make it affordable. We want you guys to have a good time. The food be nice portions, too, so don't everybody get a little... You good, you tried the wings. <laughs> I was trying my best, yo. I, I, I don't want to talk too much on this interview, right. dog, but their food really would have been, yo. I'm trying to tell y'all, listen, all jokes aside, my man Dre said, yo, Dev, it's this party we going to. I said, all right, he sends me a menu. It looked like Bart Simpson is like lost, <laughs> like lit on a menu. So I'm like, okay. It said infused candy. I'm like, hmm? Scratching here, I'm like, all right, cool, you know, brains, peach rings, all that shit, probably. And then I'm like, all right, they had to infuse wings. When I said infuse wings, like you just said, the portion not stingy. Like, I thought they were showing too much love. I was like, damn, like, start licking the finger, like, you feel me? Like, the food was good, man. Really good. Um, now, we was talking about the infused drinks. You know, we got this peach, pineapple, um, yeah, pineapple peach, Liddy. It's Liddy again, lemonade, you know? Like, yes, yes, like, yes. Like, These like, joints is the truth. But made y'all decide to, like, like get a few drinks. Like, y'all took it up a step. Like, yeah, not, yeah, like, yeah. We want, like I said, we want to give you a different variety of everything. We basically giving you the option to be able to get on in a classy way. Mm, you yeah, know, everybody yeah. don't want to always smell like bud. You know, That's have a, an edible, right. have a drink, you know? Right. You still got the same lit, so. Now, what's next for y'all as far as, like, are y'all going farther than catering? Are y'all thinking about opening up a store? Are y'all thinking about just, you know, we, we open four days a week. We about to open up. We about to start selling these platters on a deli. Like, what's next? <laughs> well, you know, basically what we're doing is um, the purpose of us selling these platters is to just give people a different platform, a different idea, the food that we can cater, that we can bring to the catering table. Okay. Um, we want to let people know we're not just fried chicken and, you know, macaroni, cheese, and yams. That's how we started. There's no, yeah. nothing wrong with that. Right, right. But we just want to let people know that, you know, we can give you that exclusive cuisine. So we also um, want to get to the point where we can be able to have our own event space. Right now, um, at these events that we're having, we're renting our spaces. So, you know, we got the catering, we got the event planning. All we, is, all we missing is the space. space y'all yep. so, you know, grinding, man. Y'all grinding, man, for real. Right, I, lo right. I love to see that type of stuff. Well, I actually want to just thank y'all, you know, for coming to the Dev Hall Show. You know, I actually, like, I, and that's my word, you know, I'm on camera, so we can go back to episode 19. Like, well, Devin, you say that? Yes, I did. You know, I'm going to have y'all catering for my next event when I have an event. Okay. And um, we're going to be having up. a good that's time. I want you to bring that watermelon sangria. Uh-huh. You know, and the um, watermelon keg. Remember, we yeah. had it in the watermelon keg. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. The watermelon, yeah, I forgot to mention it. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. what I said, the presentation yeah, on yeah, the bean, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, but is there anything that you would like to tell the audience, you know, before we get out of here? Um, just want to let you guys know that um, we're a good catering company, you know, sometimes you never know where a lot of catering companies, but like he said, the proof was in the pudding, mm -hmm. you know, uh, we do exclusive catering, we do regular catering, we do small events, you know, you name it, we, we out there, just check us out. Right, and then, uh, remember, we about to have that Father's Day event, so all dads, you know, come out. Come out and support come that out. one day, that one come special out. day. Now about that, now, um, is there a certain way that they have to like reach out to you? Like, remember the last one event we had to like oh, send an yeah, email, then yeah. we got the secret location. Is it like that as well? Um, well, no, this won't be like this, that. This is no. a little different. Okay. Um, 
it's just a regular catering event, so it's not going to be like that. We're going to sell the tickets through Eventbrite. Okay. Um, but normally with our, you know, cannabis events, yes, we do. It's a little bit more detail yeah, orientated, yeah, yeah, you know. Everything right. is through email, right, you know. Right, right. Uh, we make everyone sign waivers before you can even receive the location. It's always a secret location, and we give it to you 24 hours before the event. Well, Keeping exactly. the suspense. Yeah. No, I just want to let y'all know. I'm glad, you know. They came as a power cup. Y'all seen the damn baseball tees, man. <laughs> Y'all see yes, it, Yes, yes. AMD Designs did these shirts for us. Yes, yes. Yeah, thanks to the team. And they just shouted them out, man. You got to respect it. Well, you know, we just here for episode 19 of the Dev Hall Show. Y'all already know how that go.